about to get underway. Our referee gives us the sign, we ring the bell, and we are underway. You know, TJ Harley, even though he's gonna be in a very, very tough match with Sigmund, this uh, Middle Eastern young man that is very focused on in that ring and doing what needs to be done. But you gotta think that in the back of TJ Harley's mind, or really, hopefully with eyes in the back of his head, because Sean Schultz could be lurking anywhere or anytime. Anywhere and anytime, but I tell you, from seeing Sean Schultz, he looked a bit stressed out, looked a bit worn. I believe uh, Miss Rachel Worthington is putting him uh, through the paces, having to carry all of her shopping bags. And uh, according to Miss Worthington, uh, he be, uh, to Mr. Worthington, I'm sorry, better make sure that she gets everything she wants and that she is happy 24/7. And uh, with a high maintenance woman like that, you have your work cut out for you. Yeah, well, anytime Dad steps in and uh, the purse strings are involved, uh, Miss Worthington, I think is. Uh, it's used to being uh, the princess, if you would, and I don't know if Sean Schultz has that in him and the competition he has to face in the matches here on Zod. Uh, uh, got, uh, got involved the other uh, in the other match. I was just going to refer back to the fact that earlier today you've already seen Christian Hayne lose, actually, to Eric Andrews. The tag team championship match, even though a team wins, it was a count out and the belt doesn't change hands. And right here, the third of what could be considered three main events between Sigmund and TJ Harley. And right now, Sigmund in control. What an explosive card, Michael. You're exactly right. Running it down from air. Oh, we almost, oh, what a what an upset that would have been in my book. Indeed. Sigmund. And we're joined by. Speaking of Christian Aim, uh, earlier today. Christian, uh, all right, I understand uh, uh, Reno has handed the mic to Christian Haim, so. Christian, sit on down, and uh, here's a couple of folks you've had competition with before in T.J. Harley and Sigmund, and in an earlier match competition with Eric Andrews, tough match for you. It was a tough match, especially when at the end of the match, Eric Andrews, you know, Michael, pulled my tights. The fans clearly saw it, and I'm sure you clearly saw that also. Well, and Eric I'd Andrews have to cheated. see the replay, but, I, you know, I, it was a match that could have gone either way. It was a seesaw affair. And Eric Andrews did get the win, but I don't think no, that takes it, Michael, it would have not gone either way. I clearly had Eric Andrews under control, and I had him beat. Well, it, it looked good for a minute there, Christian, that you uh, you may have uh, lost uh, lost a little focus. I, and you were very focused in that match, but there at the very end, it looked like you, it, it, something took your attention off the eye, you know, came off the ball, let's say. Well, you... Maybe, but look, anyways, but let's get to the point here of these two guys in action here. TJ Harley is now on top of Sigmund, and let me just point out that that little wrist guard he has on his forearm there has a weapon of object inside of it. It is loaded. Oh, no, I, I don't know. I, I sort of doubt that Sigmund with a belly-to-back suplex over the top, and TJ Harley goes down. I'll tell you, Sigmund, uh, is a, he's a tough customer in there. If TJ Harley's not careful, Sigmund can take a win very quickly here. You've been in the ring with both of these guys. You know how tough they are. Well, Sigmund is a pretty good competitor. I've been in the ring with him at other places, and he does have a lot of potential and talent. But TJ Harley on the other side, I mean, all he cares about is what these people. Right there, right there you saw. Wait a minute. Rachel Worthington is coming to the ringside. She's got, uh, she just handed her purse to, to Christian Aim and, TJ uh, obviously is uh, uh, not very happy that Miss Worthington is here. Wait a minute, Christian Ames in the ring. What that's going on here? Oh my goodness, Christian Ames just nailed TJ Harley with Rachel Worthington's bag. She's smiling, what is going on here? Two, three, and Sigmund is gonna get the win. What is going on here? Christian Aim, Rachel Worthington's handbag just nailed T.J. Harley, and Harley is down. I cannot believe what I, again, this is, this is, in, this is incredulous is what has happened here. The match is over. Christian Aim getting involved. Get, get over, I gotta, I gotta find out. I gotta get to the bottom of this. Miss Worthington, I, what is going on? Christian Aim's doing color commentary with us, and he grabs her purse. He knocks T.J. Harley. Where is Sean Schultz through? Where, what's going on? Michael, Sean's at home. He's having anxiety attacks. All this stress with this T.J. Harley stuff is stressing him out. They've got him at home on medication. T.J. Harley, I can take care of business myself, and it's a proven fact. Oh, my gosh. And you, what is, what's going through your mind? Michael St. John, I told you sooner or later I'd find my perfect 10. 
Oh, we'll be back. We'll be right back with more on Saw. Next week on Saw, the rematch for the International Championship. At the uh, high society as a tag team, but very, very difficult to keep your mind on what goes on in the ring with what you got. All that great eye candy outside the ring. And uh, I, I think high society has it for long-legged women. My goodness, it's, yeah, whatever you said, Michael. Oh, unbelievable. Well, Jesse Emerson and Drew Haskins getting ready to do battle with high society, called by one wrestling publication the fastest growing tag team in the world as far as their reputation and their ability. And this is a situation where Chris Michaels and Sean Casey have really taken up where they left off many time, many years ago and have just built upon that legacy. And right now it's Casey and Emerson to lock it up. Well, Michael, I believe with Sean Casey and Chris Michaels reuniting, I think they're stronger than ever. I, 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 I don't believe either one of these guys have missed a step, although Jesse Emerson's looking pretty good right now. But I don't believe either one of these guys has missed a step. And with the knowledge that they've gained throughout the years, I think the experience has really helped them. Well, and there's a nice stripe kick by Drew Haskins, the young man the, the vying for rookie in the year in the uh, world of professional wrestling. You know, you were talking about Jesse Emerson a minute ago. Of all the wrestlers that I've seen come through Saw over the uh, history of this organization, I think he perhaps is most one of the most talented, but certainly the most underrated. Oh, definitely so. Jesse Emerson, he's a superstar in the making. He's got, he's already filled out very fine as, as a young athlete, whoa! Look at that, and Haskins made it work! At that flying head scissors, that flying drop kick, boy! You know, for somebody that was trained by Reno Riggins, he sure is quick on his feet. Coming from somebody that was trained by Reno Riggins, they better be quick on their feet. <laughs> Drew right now is struggling, trying to put a little more weight on, but he's, he's a young man, he's only 18 years old, and his body is still developing. I would think by the time he's 22, if he stays with this sport, he will be a force to be reckoned with. Well, right now, Sean Casey caught him in the back, slowed him down, but Haskins comes flying back, but then Chris Michaels right into the teeth of the buzzsaw, if you would, and Chris Michaels, look at him, he's inciting uh, Emerson to come in the ring, knowing the referee will intervene, which allows them to double team Drew Haskins, and now Michaels and Casey are just pounding away on this youngster. And that's experience right there for you. I mean, a younger team wouldn't have known to do that, but if, but if the team of Sean Casey and Chris Michaels, they know exactly what they're doing. They're in control of this match from start to finish. They're gonna let Drew Haskins do what they want Drew Haskins to do, Indeed. and nothing more. Indeed, and that is what, it, and unfortunately he is learning a bitter lesson right here, but that's a lesson you learn in the ring, and there is Chris Michaels with that short clothesline, and Chris, you know, that's the other thing, watching Chris Michaels, he is really a bulked up, but he, he's got, he's, he's as firm as any wrestler I've seen, and he and Casey just work fluidly together. And right now, they are keeping Drew Haskins at bay and literally nowhere near his partner, Jesse Emerson. Well, if, if, if you had a tag tournament tomorrow and you had the team of High Society in it, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind laying down some money that High Society could come out the winner of the tournament. Look at that, Michaels whipping. What a spine Haskins buster. In, and that spine buster taking its toll. And Sean Casey had the pin, had it not been for Jesse Emerson in to break it up. And now double teaming again by High Society. You know, in the ropes, they'll send him across. Double team, double under hook. He tosses him over and down he goes. And Casey stomping at the head. And 